Okay, so before we go ahead and build the drinks page, what I want to talk about is some of the features that we're going to be using with the latest that Next.js has to offer. The first feature is going to be get static paths. So the documentation that Next.js defines it as is if a page has dynamic routes and uses get static props, it needs to define a list of paths that it statically generates. Now, what we essentially want to do is define the paths based on the ID of each drink that we have. So in this case, we have up to, I'd say, 28 IDs. So if I was to get the path of 27, the page that gets rendered will only return this object here as one of the paths. We want to fetch all of the paths within our API. So we will have 28 in total. So what next JS is going to do is statically build the page paths. So you should use get static paths if you're statically pre-rendering pages that use dynamic routes and the data comes from essentially it comes from an external source so in our case it's coming from our api so when do get static paths get run it runs at build time on the server however if you're using incremental static regeneration it can also run on demand in the background so we will go into further detail when we are actually building the page and also just to point out we can only use get static paths when we use get static props which is the next page in the documentation so what the get static props does is it fetches the data similar to how we used get server side props in previous videos for example on the locations page so you should use get static props if the data required to render the page is available at build time. So essentially what we are doing is we're going to get the data on the server side. We're going to pre-build the paths. So in our case, it's going to be the IDs. So for example, ID 27 or 13, we're going to have that data readily available so that when we access forward slash menu forward slash 13, when we have clicked through a product on here, what will happen is it will build the page in real time then at the moment we are not fetching that data so we would receive a 404 error so if we use both the features that we've talked about getting static paths so getting all of the ids or all of the drinks pre-rendering on the server and if we use get static props to fetch the data from the server and build it so essentially what happened is when the user accesses the page the first time next.js will then render that page out from the server side deliver it to the client on the browser and once say for example we have entered 13 and the page is then built it will then cache it into the its next cache like so within here it will have pages being rendered it will then cache it onto the pages directory in here so that the second person that accesses the page will then see the cached version after that because the data is stale what we will do later is add revalidation on there so that we refetch the data every 30 or 60 seconds however long we define it and then that way our website is faster it's more efficient is making less api requests and essentially it's just managing itself 